one, go. This is, this is our six and four seed alliance, so it should be a pretty close match. The first 15 seconds is all pre-programmed by the students. They're trying to get into the final configuration by the end of this round to be in that level position. 292, Panther Tech making their way there. It's looking good. The Red Alliance scoring extra points for their alliance. We are in the lower bracket. Either team, the one that wins here, will continue to play. The loser will be eliminated. They have two minutes to define their fate here at the Tippecanoe District Events, sponsored by the U.S. Air Force. 69.56, that's Shamrock Botics placing a cone in their lower to be joined by their two teammates. Lots of points already being scored by the Red Alliance. The score is 33 to 52, but plenty of time to change that in the match. 31.47, making use of their loading area to collect a cube from their human player. That's one of the only ways for pieces to make their way back into the field. Robots have to be careful to only carry one game piece at a time because they can only do that inside, outside of their community. 2867, after successfully delivering one to their grid, making their way diagonally across the field to their loading area. A reminder, that is a protected zone. Only robots of their color can be in the loading areas, which are those boxed off regions towards the audience. 298.29, the digital goats making their way over their charge station to place a cone on top of their grid. Although links are important, they will no longer get ranking points. Each of those three game pieces lined up on the grid does get additional five points for each link sexually created. 8742, that's Argyle Tack making their way diagonally across the field with a cube game piece to deliver it hopefully in the bottom of their grid. They're lacking in points right now, but they can make those up. Only a four different points, only four point difference between our scores at the moment. That's just one game piece away from tying us up. 35 seconds remain in our match. You know what that means. We've entered end games. We'll start to see robots like Argyle Tank making their way over to their charge stations. They're trying to make those sure those are in a level configuration to maximize their points for their teams. The Red Alliance with a strong lead, but if the Blue Alliance can get that balance with enough robots, they can make a big difference. 10 seconds remaining in our match. We might have to count this down. Both teams are looking pretty satisfied. Three, two, one. That was the end of your playoff match. The Blue Alliance appears to be balanced. Here are your scores for playoff match 10. Continuing to play with us today, your winners are the Red Alliance. Alliance 6 is moving on to match 12 in the lower bracket. We want to shout out Alliance 4 for coming to play today. That's 2867 Elk Logics, 829 the Digital Goats, and 8742 Argyle Tack. Thank you for all your hard work that you've demonstrated in the competition so far today.